Um, I think uh, most importantly and, and most of all, I've learned how to pitch. Um, you know, I thought I learned, I know how to pitch before, and you know, I did somewhat. I knew, uh, you know, how to set up hitters, um, but now it's um, kind of gone in more in depth of uh, as far as like paying attention to hitters um, in between games. Now, when I'm pitching, you know, if I'm facing that same team, I'll pay attention and, and um, just see what they're trying to do in different situations, and um, you know, know who the pull hitters are, know who the slap hitters are. Um, you know, your situational guys, your bunt guys, um, you know, who can run, um, you know, just, uh, you know, different counts, different situations. And, uh, you know, um, you know, I'm still working on, you know, polishing up the, the mechanics from, you know, losing the weight and stuff. And, and um, it's, uh, it's been a, it's been fun. It's been really a lot of fun. You know, I had that conversation with uh, Roger Columbus out of double A and, and, um, and his, his thing was for me to close off my front shoulder a little bit more. And um, so it's right now it's, uh, you know, I have the stretch. I put my, my front foot in front of my uh, left foot a little bit. And, um, you know, my shoulder is facing a left-handed batter's box. And uh, it just helps me stay closed a little bit longer and, and not cut myself off of the velocity a little bit. And, um, you know, I think it's helped the velocity. It's helped uh, the deception um, from throwing the fastball to a lefty and a righty. You know, I throw an inside fastball to a lefty and they're, you know, at first they're, you know, kind of jumping off the plate a little bit, and, you know, it's in her third, maybe down the middle. So, um, you know, that's um, what I noticed the most about the, the new delivery is the deception part of it. And, um, you know, secondly, the velocity is, is um, you know, a little bit better just from staying closed and, and keeping all that power, um, you know, going up through my legs and, and uh, upper body and then to my arm. How much of a weapon has the deception become, Brad? Um, I think it's I think it's become a good weapon. You know, it's it's just tougher. You know, if I'm facing a righty, I throw it down away fastball. He's almost giving up on it right away. Um, you know, I think it's going to be outside, and just the angle that I'm creating with that uh, staying close, it's you know, it's in the outside corner or the outer third. What was your mindset once you got to New Hampshire of what you wanted to accomplish, and did you set out kind of a plan and a method to to where you wanted to eventually end up? Um, I, I would say my plan was probably complete opposite. I wanted to, I wanted to get back, and uh, you know, obviously as quickly as I could, but I, at the same time, I didn't want to come back and, and not be ready, and you know, have to do it all over again. And um, you know, so I, I knew what I had to work on, and you know, with the help of Sal and, and Siggy down in Double A, and obviously the you know Roger Clemens visit, um, you know, it's it's uh, it's been a work in progress, and you know, I think it's. Um, you know, it'll, I think it'll always be a work in progress. But you know, as far as the stuff I was dealing with, I think it's, uh, I think it's, it's uh, coming to an end quickly. When did you visit with uh, He came down. His son was on our team, Kobe, and um, you know, he just came out for a visit to visit his son, and um, you know, he came and chatted with the team for a little bit, the pitchers for about 20 minutes, and and I had asked Siggy to ask him if he could watch my bullpen, so he uh, he came over and. Um, and watched it, and you know, I expected him just to, you know, kind of sit behind the mound and you know have a couple words for me afterwards. Um, but I mean, he was right up there uh, uh, on the rubber next to me, and, and you know, just kind of talking me, talking to me through the whole bullpen, and it was it was just, it was really cool. And um, you know, just uh, the intensity he had in his voice when he was talking, it seemed like he was the one throwing the pen. So what, what did he share with you during that entire session? Um, you know, just what I said, just staying closed, and, and uh, you know, that was the biggest thing. And, and another thing was uh, being a little bit more aggressive on the leg lift and not being so slow. Um, and um, it took me a while to get that because I started coming up quicker, and then I started going to the plate quicker. So I had to, you know, you know, differentiate a little bit to bring it up quick and then, you know, not go so quick to the plate. So it was a little bit challenging, but, um, you know, I got the hang of it. And then, uh, you know, it's been working well in my past uh, eight starts, so... Stay consistent. This is uh, the most consistent I've ever been in the last, um, you know, seven or eight starts. Um, you know, not a lot of walks. Ball's been down in the zone, getting a lot more ground balls than I was. Um, and uh, you know, just I just want to stay there. And and um, you know, I'm not worried about winning games or you know throwing shutouts or whatever. You know, this this uh, I feel like the team needs uh, just needs guys to go deep in the game right now, and I think that's pretty evident. And um, you know, that's what I'm gonna try to do.